My name is Chef Kay. Tonight is chicken parmesan on Kitchen This. This right here is my chicken area. And it's not enough for me that it's just a counter that's a chicken area. So I'm also going to put a sheet pan out here so that I'm only dealing with my chicken on the sheet pan. I've got a layer of saran wrap going on the bottom. And now you're gonna take your chicken breast or your chicken tenders, whichever ones you are using, and you are going to place them on top. I'm gonna get my chicken, lay it out on there. So I've got some paper towels. I'm going to lay them out. I want them to be a little bit away from each other. I'm also trying to give them a little bit of a dab with my paper towel here. Now this is one thing I want to show y'all because I always want to have like some uh, tips and tricks. I'm going to wash my hands before I move into covering the top of it. If you are ready and they're all separated so that you're adequately able to give them like a little bit of a good beating, then you can go ahead and cover saran wrap on the top of it. I was going to show you all real quick. Since I'm using the tenders, one thing I don't always like about tenders is that little like tendon. You can see it. Can you see it? It's like oh my, that's on my hair. Okay. <laughs> you can see that little tendon. It's not always my favorite, and I do think that it changes the texture of your end dish. It can be very, very hard to cut out, but if you do just the right thing with a fork and you place that tendon right in there, and I usually grab it with like a paper towel. You can do this like shimmy pull down and pull that piece right out. It's going to change the whole texture of that dish. And now we are going to get started with our chicken. So piece here, cover those two. Piece here. If you have a mallet, use your mallet. Why not? I'm using a small pot. My sauce is still simmering behind me. I'm using the bottom. The bottom of a small saucepan. You don't have to have a mallet if you have one that's great. Um, this is honestly my favorite way to do it. The key here is that when you come down, you kind of slide out just a little bit. So when you come down on that chicken, you slide to the side. You don't want to come straight down on it. You want to come down and kind of move to the side. You don't have to hear a sound or anything like that. It so went from near went from this size to this size. The key there is that when you're coming down, you like slide, slide away from yourself. Okay, so chicken's ready. Don't even have my pan on or anything right now. I wanna get everything set up. So I know that I'm moving this way. I'm gonna have chicken, I'm gonna have a dredging station, and then I'm gonna be going into my pan. So I'm setting myself up for success today. I've got my breadcrumb mixture. I'm gonna toss that around with my hands. Make sure you got your whole order of operations together. I am gonna turn my pan on over about medium heat. So one thing that you don't need to have in this pan is a whole bunch of oil. This is not a deep fry. This is not a deep fry for the chicken parm. We are going to be pan frying it here. And then again, I'm gonna put mine in the oven to kind of finish it through the cutlets are so thin. I don't know if you all can see them. Yeah, you can see some of them. Okay. The cutlets are so thin that they are not going to take a long time at all. So heat your pan up, going in with your oil. And again, it's really just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. But I like it in this casserole style one because there's always leftovers so I can have like a chicken parm sandwich for lunch tomorrow. But then two, it's a total different presentation. Like, it just, okay, going into eggs, going into breadcrumbs, then going into here. You do have to do a little bit of a mash and press sometimes with your breadcrumb, parmesan, flour mixture. So I've got my one cutlet here that we just did. I love using the tenders. It makes life so much easier. Once you pound out a breast, it's so long, so wide, it can get to be difficult. So I've got this in. This hand is kind of have eggs on it. This hand's still dry, so I'm gonna toss some of that breadcrumb mixture 
on top of there. Spread it out if I can. Give it a little bit of a press. Flip it over a little bit of a press. Some more if I have to. Make sure I shake it so that I get off any excess. I do not want to have any excess breading that slides away on my pan. I'm going to lay it in. I'm making sure I got some bubbles and some sizzles on there. So as long as I got a little bubble, a little sizzle, I'm good to go. And I'm going to lay it in away from myself. So I got this first one flipped over. Some nice color. I'll let you see here. I'll bring it up there. But even on one of them, I'm going to sit that side back down. But we're getting a nice, good brown already. Sit the underside back down. Do a flip on the other one. Not a lot of oil in my pan here. But I love chicken parm. It's, it's comfort food. All right, so I've got these pieces. I'm going to get a plain, clean, brand new plate that I can set them on. If you feel like you've got a lot of oil, you may need a paper towel. I got some small little pieces coming off. Oh, I gotta hold on to it, make sure it doesn't fall. So far, so good. I'm liking the color. Got a little small one today. A little small dish. It's gonna be perfect for layering. All right, last couple of pieces of chicken are finishing up. I'm gonna give them a flip. And I got some little baby pieces that are going to be so perfect. So this is not a straight up lasagna kind of layer. This for me is like a slanted kind of layer. So what do I mean by that? Move those up. Those can finish while we're getting started. What I mean by that is that I am going to take chicken and put it right here. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese ladle some sauce, sprinkle a little bit more cheese, and then put a next layer of chicken. So it should almost be kind of like cascading. So you want to have everything ready and in front of you. I got my cheeses here. I'm going to grab my sauce. It's been simmering now for, I mean, it's been simmering now for about two and a half hours. Homemade tomato sauce. If you missed it, we made this in pasta dinner live spray that dish if you would like and then again you're going in with chicken first so I'll take one of these pieces of chicken and I'll take one from here and I'll take another little small one again this is why I did not mind that chicken breaking apart so I kind of layered them there together I'm going in cheeses Shredded provolone, shredded mozzarella. Cheeses are going in. I'm leaving a little bit of the chicken exposed, just a little bit, over on that side. I'll go in with some sauce. A little layer of sauce there. Mozzarella, provolone. I've got some shaved Parmesan here too because I plan on putting that shaved Parmesan on my side salad. And begin again. So you got the shingling going on. Okay, hopefully you can see that there. Everything's nice and shingled. I'm gonna get this into my 350 degree oven. OMG, y'all, I, mm, I don't know. Can I make it up there for y'all to see? This is, this is what we got, is it straight? Yes, I'm loving it. I got some parsley all right on top. Cheese got a good melt on it. It's got a good color. Chicken even got a little bit more brown. Perfect. All right, hold it up here one more time so you all can see. Of course, I will be taking a picture so that you have a picture of it to remember it by. But let me know in the comments what you think. And if there's something that you really want to learn how to cook, please put it in the comments below. Cover me, my family, all my new friends that are on this live and everybody that's watching. In your name we pray. That is time, y'all. I cannot wait to see you next time. 
I'm Chef Kay, and thank you so much for watching Kitchen This. Bye.